One of the most common requirements of virtually any game project is the need to bring in 3D assets from an external application such as Maya, Maya LT, or 3D Studio Max. To begin, we're going to need an asset to import, and for that, we're going to need a 3D modeling application. Today, we're going to be using Maya LT, however, you could use any of the programs previously mentioned to the same effect. Let's begin by jumping over to Maya LT and seeing what we have to do over there. Once inside of Maya LT, we can see that we have an object that has a bone structure and an animation sequence. For a static object or an animation where there will only be one clip, you can simply export right now by going File, Export All, set as an FBX, and Export. This will export your object and whatever animations are included. However, it will not separate them into clips. So let's go ahead and jump into Stingray and see what this looks like when we import it. So here we are back in Stingray. Let's begin by creating a directory for our door to be imported into. So I'm going to go ahead and navigate to my Models folder by going Content, Models, and I'm going to go ahead and create a door folder. So I'm going to go right click, Create Folder, and I'm going to type in Door, hit OK, and then inside of the door, because I'm going to import a couple different times, I'm going to go ahead and create another directory, and I'm going to call this Door Single Clip because this import is going to import it as a single clip animation. So let's go ahead and go into that and hit import. Then we will simply navigate to our unit and double click. The FBX import window will give us a couple options. Because we're trying to import an animation, let's go ahead and click on animation. If we wanted to import a static mesh, we would just simply leave this box unchecked. But because we are importing an animation, let's go ahead and leave it checked. Hit Import, and your object should come in just as you expected. To ensure that our unit is imported successfully, let's go ahead and use the Asset Preview to review our work. Select the door, and we can see that the object is correctly imported. Selecting the Skeleton Mesh will give us the opportunity to see if the skeleton is imported properly, as well as any animations that it holds. Selecting the animation clip will put the two of them together and show how they work. So with Asset Preview, you can review all of the critical aspects of your model. To get our object into our scene, we can either drag and drop, or we can use the Place tool. Although having your animation bound into a single clip is sometimes the easiest, it isn't always the best. For example, this door, I would much rather have the door open and close on separate animation clips. In order to do this, we're going to have to go back to Maya LT and export our object in a different way. So here we are back in Maya LT. Now, when we exported our object last time, we had simply gone File, Export All. And although this is a perfectly fine way to export, it isn't always the best way. What we're going to want to be able to do is separate our clips out, and we're going to need a special tool for that. Luckily, with MyLT, we have this tool called Game Exporter. So, under the File menu, you can find Game Exporter. So, go ahead and navigate to that and open it up. Once inside of here, you'll see that you have a lot of different options. We're not going to be too concerned about most of these today. Instead, we're going to be worried about our animation clips. And inside of here, you can go ahead and create animation clip names, which is what we're going to do. So let's hit the plus button, and let's add our open door animation clip. And what we need now is to tell it the range at which that clip will be found. So if we were to scrub our timeline, we can see that from 0 to 70 frames is my open door animation. So from 0 to 70 is what I need to put into start and end. So I'm going to set my start frame to 0, and I'm going to set my end frame to 70. Next, I'm going to need to set up the closed door animation, which is from 75 to 100. So from 75 to 100, my door closes. And I'm going to do that by simply going in here and typing in close door and setting my start to 75 and my end to 100. 
Under the Settings drop-down, you will have the choice to export your animation as multiple clip files or as a single clip file. I prefer the single file because it keeps things a little bit cleaner. Once done, we simply have to set our path and choose the name of our object that we're going to export. I'm going to go ahead and hit Export Now, and it will overwrite the door that I exported earlier. Once done, we can now go back to Stingray and get ready for importation once again. Back in Stingray, let's go ahead and create a new folder for our multi-clip animation to live in. So let's go right-click, Create Folder, and create our folder name. I'm going to call it door underscore multi-clip and hit OK. And then I'm just going to go inside of that folder. So the last time we imported our object, we went right-click, Import Asset. However, you can use the Import button, or you can drag and drop a model directly into your Asset Browser. So in this import, let's go ahead and try the drag and drop method. To do this, simply use your File Browser to navigate to your file and drag it into your Asset Browser. Again, we will get the FBX Import window, and again we will want to check on the animation clips, and go ahead and hit Import. So as you can see, there really isn't much difference between using the Import button, going right-click and using Import Asset, and using your file browser to drag and drop objects into your Asset Browser. Focusing on the content of what we just imported, let's take a look and see what we've got this time. So just as before, we have our object, we have our bone structure, but notice this time that we have two animation clips, one showing the closed door animation and one showing the open door animation. This will be a lot easier to trigger and flow, and generally speaking is a more controlled way to manage your animation work. So now that we know how to import a multi-clip animation and a single clip animation, what we don't know how to do yet is import a non-animated object. So let's just briefly run through that because it's pretty straightforward. Let's go ahead and navigate back out to the door folder, and I'm going to go ahead and create a new folder, and I'm going to call this door underscore no animation. And I'm going to go ahead and open up that folder, and this time I'm just going to go hit import, I'm going to grab my door file, and to import a static object, all I have to do is not check the animation. So I'm going to go ahead and hit import, and once imported, you will notice that there is no animation clips or bone structures imported with the object. So this concludes this short lesson on how to import objects with Stingray.